guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today what we're going to look at is a teleportation type pad type thing that I quickly put together and it's really simple. It just requires one procedure and uh, one block. So um, to demonstrate, if you right click on the portal block itself, you get teleported to the linked um, block that it's uh, relevant to. So we can go up to this one and it can even go to other uh, locations as you can see it's uh, on a different location here and if you want to get back you just uh, basically go like that and you can make like a simple elevator system if you really wanted to um, to link this all up uh, what you want to do is you want to set up your place down your portal have the item in your hand and then you want to right click it it'll say uh, current portal location and then it will say the location and then you could go say somewhere over here and you could set up your other portal and then it says teleporter has been linked and then you can basically teleport between the uh, two portals so that's basically how it works um, use some vanilla textures and made a custom block with it but uh, outside of that uh, it looks pretty good and uh, it works uh, efficiently uh, now there is only one issue if uh, you try to um, basically sometimes if you have something already linked uh, it will say it can't be linked to itself but unless you like link it to another block then it's not going to work uh, properly and if you have to link it then uh, say if you link this one and that one then you break this one and then you try linking this one this one no longer works so you have to like update this block so it works perfectly fine so you can basically teleport between the blocks and stuff like that so uh, let's hop into the code and I'll show you how it all works so again one procedure and one block model so uh, for the custom model um, I have this this should be on cutout uh, but the we have a teleporter model and then I don't have it for any particular direction I've set the uh, the maximum height to be offsetted to what the model is actually um, made for so uh, it will be that particular height and then I've select the particle texture for the model over here and carrying on then I've basically set up the properties uh, it has the properties of resistance for obsidian and hardness same as obsidian or roughly around somewhere around there and it can be destroyed with a pickaxe with uh, level 3 again all these properties can be changed how you want and I've set the block color on the map to obsidian I don't need a tick rate so I've disabled that and uh, I've set the uh, uh, reaction to being pushed to block so pistons can't push this block like regular obsidian right so uh, that's what I have done there and moving on I needed to enable the uh, MBT uh, or inventory so we could use MBT so this needs to be checked uh, you will want to set your uh, size of inventory to zero and disable these two blocks here. You don't need to set up an inventory for this uh, particular project. Moving on, uh, we have one event and that's uh, on block right clicked. And if we click on that, it's a little bit complicated. I'll try my best to explain how everything is working. Um, first thing that it's doing is it's looking for if the player has an item in their hand and then it's testing for the item and if that's uh, true then it will be basically running all of uh, this section here so anything in this uh, particular section if it's not true if the player is not holding an item then it's just going to directly go to this uh, section right here which is going to run the uh, teleportation uh, Part of the uh, code which will teleport the player back and forth to different portals and stuff so if we expand um, or not expand expand this so what we're doing is we've set a well we're getting a um, particular uh, 
section of the code. I'm actually going to minimize that so it's a little bit easier. So we're going to be testing if the block is linked. Now, if the block is linked uh, or not linked, so we're testing if it's not linked because it's false. So if it's not linked, then it's going to run this particular procedure. If it is linked, then it's not going to be running this and this won't matter. So it'll go directly to this thing if it if the player is not holding it and if it is linked then it's going to detect if the player uh, where the block needs to teleport the player uh, we'll get into that later so the next thing that it's doing is uh, basically determining um, player has stored teleporter so the next basically what that means is um, if they have a stored teleporter then it's going to run basically run the script to um, link the two teleporters together. Um, if it if that's false, then it's just going to go to an else statement, which is basically the only other option for that to be uh, not true or uh, uh, not true is basically to be false. So that would be this uh, this would run. So what this is going to do is if it's false uh, because this isn't running yet, it's going to set a player MBT data to X, Y, and Z. Uh, with specific variable names for those particular positions and then it's going to um, enable the player has stored teleporter to true and then it's going to output a message to tell you where the teleporter location is so with that it says current portal location x y z and then it also lists the coordinates and the uh, variable you can remove this section if you want and that will be perfectly fine. So if it is true, then what it's going to do is it's going to go into run uh, this major part of the script and it is quite a bit, so I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can. Um, now if the player does have a linked teleporter, then it's going to test if X is um, equal to player x, uh, which is the variable that we just set uh, down here. So player teleporter position x is, or the x, y, z is basically the location that is stored to. So if it's equal to, then what we're doing is we're just going to set a, um, what this is basically doing is it's testing if it's the same location as the block that we just linked. We don't want to teleport to itself, so we're basically just outputting a message that says you can't uh, link the, the portal to itself. And if it isn't true, then what it's going to do is an else statement, and then it's going to basically um, set the block MBT data equal to the player MBT data. So uh, it's basically the same under the block it's set instead. So it's uh, rather than having it player, it's block. And then we're just uh, linking the player variable to this uh, variable here. So we're just basically inheriting it. Um, and then what we're doing down here is we're um, going to, so like the, the top here, what we've done is we've copied the player location which we stored the uh, current block location of the X, Y, and Z of the other block to the player and then we're storing it to this block so now we know where the other block is so we've stored it to this variable here now what we need to do is basically set the other block to have the same thing so with that we already know the the current block that we basically just link to so what we can do is we can use those variables that we just stored to the block itself and then we can basically use that for the coordinates because uh, we can also offset the coordinates as you can see here so we can if we wanted to we can set the coordinates to the other block and then have it uh, just use an x y and z coordinate of this current block and then they can set the other block to have the proper location of where we will be teleporting back to which is where we're currently at so with that being said we're basically uh, setting the same block name we're using the block coordinates for the other block that we just uh, linked to and with the player coordinates and then we're going to be setting it to X Y and Z 
uh, which is the current block coordinates that we're currently at. So this would be uh, tele the coordinates of teleporter two. This is the coordinates of teleporter one. And then finally, we're just uh, making sure that the block has a is block linked uh, tag, and we're setting that to true. And then we're um, also setting the is block linked uh, tag to the other block as well, and we're setting that to true. And uh, then we're basically setting uh, player has store teleporter to false. Um, we're basically just outputting a message saying that the teleporter has been linked. So that's basically how all that works. So let me now explain how the teleportation works for this part of thing, the, uh, the script. So we covered how to link it, which is all this stuff, if the player is holding the specific item. So now if the player isn't holding the specific light item, what we need to do is test if the block is linked. If that's true, then it's gonna run the rest of the script. So what we're doing here is we're going to basically test for the current uh, entity that's right clicking on the block. And then what we're doing is we're getting the uh, blocks uh, MBT um, variable, which is stored to that particular block. And then we're going to offset that to 0 0.5 because uh, the player will be teleporting on the corner of the block, which is not exactly the center. So we need to offset the player's spawn location. So that for the X and Z need to be set to 0 0.5. So it would just be plus 0 0.5. And Y is fine to be just uh, directly linked to the uh, move entity uh, or set location of entity to X, Y, and Z. So the other thing that we're doing is setting the uh, rotation of the current entity that's right clicking on the block itself. So what we've done is we just got a couple um, variables from the uh, entities tab. And if you scroll down, then you will find um, somewhere in here, I think it's under entities. Yeah, so there is a direction yaw and there is another one uh, somewhere in here that is um, for the pitch as well, which is this one right here. So uh, what this does, yaw is basically the um, rotation, I think, is like if you're turning uh, north northeast, southwest, and the pitch is up and down. So that would be if the player is looking up and down. So what we're doing with this is we're just getting the direction of which the player is currently looking at. Um, and we're going to be setting the same direction of the current when the player currently clicks on the block to be facing the same direction. So um, if they're looking down on an angle, then they will be teleporting and facing the same direction. So I know there's a lot of uh, code that went into this and a lot of it's variable based. And uh, this is just kind of like a small snippet of what a lot of the uh, CCTV uh, mod that I'm working on that uses a lot of variables very similar to this system. So um, that's why I haven't done a tutorial on it because it's confusing. It even confuses me from time to time. And uh, I will be providing the uh, procedure um, like exported version so you guys can just copy and paste it right into your um, workspace and set the teleporter up uh, very easily. So um, back to the teleporter, it's only a right click event and then we don't have it to generate anywhere. And uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.